Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today I wanted to give you a pretty comprehensive walkthrough of our hammer mills. And these by far are, have the most diverse applications out of any of our equipment. So I wanted to give you a walkthrough, talk about some of its features, and uh, show you guys kind of how we build them and some of the parts we use. So this is a 16 by 12 hammer mill, and uh, we'll give you a walk through this one, and then we'll take a look at some of our bigger machines. So this is uh, rated at one ton per hour of gold ore, and that's kind of how we rate our hammer mills. This mill is equipped with a gooseneck inlet, so you can take larger material or bigger samples. Um, and it's important that you don't have a line of sight, and that's what we've done here with this gooseneck, is there's no line of sight direct out of the hammer mill, so you can't have stuff coming back and, and coming back at the operator. This is set up, and we have a discharge chute here that we can uh, orient either way, so it can come out either side of the mill, depending on uh, what the customer needs. And this mill has 20 hammers in it, four rows of five hammers. There's a screen, just like in our larger mills, that wraps all the way down along the bottom of the mill, and it's held in by the armor. And I have another video that I'll post a link to in the description showing how to change a screen in the inside of a hammer mill. But you loosen the armor, and then the screen rolls out, and you can roll a new screen back in and bolt the armor down to hold the screen in. There's no welding or clamping or anything like that. It's all held in by the armor and the lid. So a lot of people ask about the wear and the maintenance of our hammer mills. And so let's start about with the, with the greasing. So there are two bearings, one on each side, and they just need to be greased uh, about once every day or two, depending on your operation. You don't need grease oozing out of the bearing, just enough to keep the seal and uh, the dirt and the grime out of the bearing. The high wear parts on a hammer mill are inside the case, and that's the hammers, the screen, and the armor. And those three pieces are really the, the only items that wear consistently on a hammer mill. As long as you keep those replaced and up to date, um, that's really the only wear on the machine. And so the armor is bolted in by these uh, bolts here. We have the, pretty much the whole inside of the case covered in armor, and it's an AR400 high abrasion resistant steel armor that's 3 8 thick. Our hammers are high chrome or high manganese, depending on your application. And the screens are either uh, AR400 steel or the thicker ones used primarily for scrap metal in our larger HD 24 by 16 hammer mills are a one inch thick steel plate that we break into the uh, contour that needs to get into the mill. So um, that's kind of a rundown on the hammer mill wear. We estimate that really no matter the size of the hammer mill, uh, when running gold ore, the cost of hammer mill maintenance is about 15 to $20 a ton. And so that, that really is, again, independent of the throughput of the hammer mill, that's about how much the maintenance costs. And we uh, tell our customers that about once a week, you should open up the case of the hammer mill, look, see if you need to replace any of the parts, see how the hammer wear is doing. Uh, the last thing you want to do is run the hammer mill uh, so, so hard that the armor wears through and it wears through the case, which we've actually had a couple of customers do. So um, just keep an eye on your hammer mill, check it once a week, depending on the application that you're, you're doing with the mill. Uh, your wear may be higher or may be lower, uh, it just depends on the material you're running. This is one of our 24 by 16 hammer mills, and we actually have three different types of hammer mills. We have a 16 by 12 hammer mill that will run about one ton of ore in an hour. We have the 24 by 16 that will run an estimated two tons of ore in an hour. And then we also have a 24 by 16 heavy duty scrap mill. And I wanted to walk you through each one of those and tell you about some of the features of them. Uh, but let's start here with this 24 by 16. But this is an ore inlet, and this is basically for any small material uh, below two inches in size. You get this inlet, and this is designed to take the feed from a conveyor belt. And so on our turnkey systems, a conveyor belt will feed in and feed the ore directly into the hammer mill. This mill has four rows of hammers when running ore or glass or anything brittle like that. They're a high chrome, about 20% chrome, for a high wear situation. And then there's a screen that wraps all the way along the bottom of the mill for 180 degrees. And you can base the screen size on the discharge that you want the ore or the material you're running to come out at. And so we have screens that go down all the way to a 0.8 millimeter, 
and up to a two inch by three inch hole. And we can really customize any screen that you need because we cut them and we make them all here in our shop. This particular mill is run with a 30 horse Tico Westinghouse electric motor and it can be wired to fit any voltage or, or frequency that's required. Uh, we do a lot of business internationally and so a lot of our customers will have 50 hertz or uh, 380 volts. And so we, uh, we've uh, adopted a motor that can take all voltage and, and frequencies. The Hero Mill is also run with three uh, belts and uh, between the belts, the bearings, the hammers, the screens, the internal armor of the hammer mill. We keep all of these parts in stock for a quick turnaround. And uh, so if you ever need replacement parts, it's real easy. You can give us a call or email and we can uh, get your parts to you uh, in a very quick fashion. So we currently don't have any HD hammer mills that are finished, but we do have a lot of parts done. So I wanted to show you some of the cases that we, that we make. And these are made all in the USA. All of our hammer mills are made here in our shop. Uh, we cut out the parts on our plast table and weld them all together. But these are the 24 by 16 HD mills. And these are primarily used for uh, more heavy duty applications such as scrap metal, where uh, the machine takes a little bit more of a beating. And so we've increased the strength of our cases with ribs here on the back where most of the impact is and ribs across the top as well. The shaft that goes through the hammer mill is a three inch shaft and we use heavy duty double spherical roller bearings uh, on this larger uh, capacity mill. The case is 3 8 inch thick and unlike uh, our standard 24 by 16, some of the armor plates in this one are 3 quarter inch thick AR400 to uh, really take that beating of some of the scrap metal and, and the heavier duty applications. So the armor, the hammers, and everything in this mill is very easily replaceable, just like uh, on our standard mills. But I wanted to clarify that uh, the wear rate typically on these scrap metal mills or these heavier duty mills are actually less than on our ore systems because in our ore systems you're, you're grinding quartz or something that's very high abrasive and you're, you're grinding it down to a very fine powder. Whereas with these heavy duty hammer mills, it's more of an impacting and then it'll go through the screen fairly quickly. So you're not actually grinding anything. So the wear rate and the cost of uh, running a hammer mill, the maintenance on this mill is quite a bit less than, than our gold ore or some of those higher abrasion uh, environments that uh, some of our standard mills get put through. So these are our one inch slotted screens and these are one inch thick steel. And these are typically used in our HD hammer mills for scrap metal. And at the one inch, or actually here's a half inch one, uh, these have performed really well for us for uh, transformer or small motor recycling to liberate the steel from the copper. And then the copper can, uh, and steel can go under a mag magnetic cross belt to pull the steel out and the copper comes out fairly clean. So here's some uh, screens we have in inventory that I want to walk you through. You've seen our, our larger one inch thick screens that typically have much larger holes. These ones here in front are 3 8 AR400 that we laser cut or plows cut the slots in. And these are used for ore or glass or bone shells, things like that that need to be ground up very, very fine. These screens are all 24 by 16 hammer mill screens. Here's another one that's a quarter inch punch plate we use for our PCB recycling system. But again, you can see that we can pretty much custom make any screen that you need for whatever application. This is a two inch by three inch hole that we've cut in our screen. And this one is especially useful for much larger or bulkier items that need to be just uh, crushed and discharged at a fairly large uh, size. And so right now this is currently one of the larger holes we make. Um, we have made uh, holes larger, but this is one of our standard two inch by three inch screens um, for, for that scrap metal uh, application. So this is the inside of one of our 24 by 16 hammer mills. And I wanted to show you the rotor in here and how this works. These are the pins that hold the hammers. And this is an inventory mill. And so we haven't actually put the hammers in because we don't know what the application is going to be. But the hammers hang on these pins here and the pins are held in place by two steel plates on the outside. And these plates bolt through the rotor 
and so the pins are captured. They can't move uh, left or right, and so those plates make it really easy to change the pins and the hammers. This mill again has four rows of six hammers, so there's 24 hammers in total, and the rotor spins around at about 1200 RPM, and I wanted to talk about the armor a little bit. This is a 3 8 AR400 armor, and you can see that there's plates all along the mill, all over the inside. And I want to talk about the bolting mechanism here. These are carriage bolts, and they have a little square head under this button. And so you can loosen and remove the, the bolts uh, without accessing uh, the inside of the mill. So you can loosen all the bolts. We use nylocks here on the outside of the case to make sure they don't come loose during operation. But you can take an air gun or a ratchet and remove the nut completely without accessing the inside of the case. So I wanted to walk you through the three different types of hammers we use in our hammer mills and the different applications for each. And so let's start with this one. This is a, a high chrome, it's 20% chrome. It's cast here in the States. And this is a, a very high wear resistant hammer. And so we use it for our uh, gold ore, glass recycling, that kind of thing. Anything where the, uh, it's a real high abrasion environment, this is a great hammer um, for that application. The hammer hangs on the pin here, and the hammer length makes it so that in the 24 by 16 or the 16 by 12 hammer mill, this hammer comes about a quarter inch away from the screen in the case. And so you have a, a very close tolerance hammer going around in the hammer mill very fast, and it's able to make a very, very fine powder. This hammer is a high manganese content cast hammer. And this is more applicable for our scrap metal applications because as this hammer is impacted, the manganese actually causes it to work harden and the Brunel strength goes up to about 600 as the hammer work hardens. This hammer is a little bit shorter than our chrome hammer to give a, a, a larger area between the hammer mill case or screen and the hammer to allow larger items uh, such as small motors or transformers to go into the hammer mill. And with those larger screen sizes, the hammer doesn't need to come nearly as close to the case. This last hammer is uh, a little bit unique. It's a blade that we've made and we've cut it out of uh, 3 8 AR400, the same stuff we use for our uh, armor in our hammer mills. And we found that this is great for uh, grinding up PC boards, um, copper wire, anything that needs uh, granulator chops, anything that needs uh, kind of a tearing or a grabbing motion, anything you're trying to shred. This is more of a shredding hammer. And uh, as you saw in the mill earlier, we use two hammers per, per uh, or two blades per one slot on the hammer mill. So every spot you put one hammer, we actually put two of these blades. Again, it hangs off the pin here and the length of the hammer makes it come very, very close to the inside of the hammer mill on the screen uh, and which helps grind the material up uh, very, very fine. So those are the three different types of hammers we use in our hammer mill and pretty much we can uh, use them for any application depending on what you guys uh, are trying to grind up. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about our hammer mills we make, how we make them, and some of the applications that they get used for. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can find uh, our email address and phone number in the description below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.